Nokia unveiled the Nokia 5710 Express Audio alongside other features phones such as the Nokia 2660 Flip and Nokia 8210 4G in the global market in July. The 5710 Express Audio was made official in China on August 17th, and it has been available for pre-order in the country since then. Starting from today, the Music Focus feature phone is available for purchase in the country. The Nokia 5710 Express Audio is available for 599 yuan or $87 in China. One of the major attractions of the feature phone is that its rear shell houses a pair of TWS earbuds. Some of its other highlights include a removable battery, 4G connectivity, and dedicated audio controls. The 5710 Express Audio comes in white and red and black and red color combinations. Speaking of phones, there's a brand that I haven't mentioned for a long time, but it used to be one of the major phone manufacturers. In recent years, Nokia has not made much progress in the development of smartphones, but in the field of replica feature phones, mainly based on nostalgic appearance, there are many new ideas. Recently, Nokia launched the newly developed 5710 Express Audio, based on the old classic music feature phones, 5710 Express Audio, and 5310 Express Audio. What is so special about the Nokia 5710 Express Audio in today's generation where smartphones are the mainstream? Let me introduce it to you. Before I introduce each phone, I will also bring you a simple unboxing part. And this replica feature phone that pays tribute to Nokia's classic music phone is no exception. Let me first bring you the unboxing text of Nokia 5710 Express Audio. After unpacking, the first part is only put into the real Nokia 5710 Express Audio, and the phone is just a simple sticker attached to the body. The micro USB plug included in the phone box is long gone. Of course, the removable lithium battery has not been touched for many years. There is also a pair of small headphones, whose functions will be mentioned later. Smartphones today still use large screens as the mainstream appearance style, after all, so in my past evaluations, in addition to introducing the body appearance, I will also mention the feel of one-handed control. This time, this Nokia 5710 Express Audio brought me a long-lost feature phone feel, which made me recall the feeling of using a phone, when I was in college. Of course, this phone is indeed a 100% genuine feature phone. Although it has a lens, the pixels are very low. Although there is a screen, the resolution is so low, that it will be grainy. It doesn't even have any touch function. More importantly, it cannot install any apps, because it uses the Series 30 Plus operating system, can't even install the safe travel, that everyone uses every day. However, you can use the physical keys to control the phone, and you can also use the physical numeric keypad to make calls, control music playback, and increase or decrease the volume. This kind of user experience is both nostalgic and a bit ironic in today's smartphones. There are physical keys for music playback control on both sides of the screen, which is a homage to the old 5310 Express audio appearance. The battery cover on the back of the white phone is printed with the Nokia logo, which makes people nostalgic for the glorious era of Nokia in those years. As for the bottom of the phone, there is a micro USB slot, which can be connected to the Firebolt for charging. But today, will everyone buy an extra battery to use in turn, and charge the battery with an external charging box, as in the past? In fact, I think of the era of phones more than 10 or 20 years ago, when smartphones were not yet popular. The only ones, that could install app, to expand the functions of phones were the pocket PC phones, and Palm OS phones launched by various manufacturers for Microsoft. The phone with the operating system will have a huge impact on the market in the future. The first iPhone 3G that can be installed with app was officially released in July 2008. I still remember the days when feature phones were still popular, and as feature phones that cannot install apps extensions, as the name suggests, they naturally have built-in unique features as their selling points. This time, Nokia launched the re-engraved version of 5710 Express Audio, and even the function can be said to be the feature phone feature of the re-engraved year, and it is built in MP3 as a necessary music phone. Player, as long as the MP3 music files into the micro SD memory card, you can use the built-in player to play. In addition, there are dedicated music control buttons on both sides of the screen, and even the speakers are developed in stereo. Of course, in today's popular streaming music platform, I believe that few people still collect a lot of MP3 music, but if you really still collect the MP3 music files from CD RIP in those days, you might as well put it in and enjoy it, I believe will not have some fun. Of course, it still has many nostalgic features, the most attractive to me is that it is built in in games similar to Java games, in addition to racing cars and blackjack, there are also games that made people forget their meals in the old Nokia phones. Tetris and Snake, and of course the control is back to the classic numeric keyboard. Playing these games feels like going back to 10 or 20 years ago. Of course, on a feature phone without a touchscreen, it is natural to use the numeric keyboard to control up, down, left, right or other in-game functions. 
Although the appearance and functions are very nostalgic, Nokia will not launch the replica 5710 Express Audio 5710 Express Audio until 2022. It is naturally difficult to satisfy users simply by replicating, so Nokia has added two features to this replica feature phone. It's an innovative feature. The first is that it supports wireless Bluetooth headsets. But don't get me wrong, the Bluetooth headsets it supports are just the included earbuds. It adopts a hanging ear appearance and can provide up to 2.4 hours of calls or 4 hours of music playback. As for high definition, noise reduction you don't need to think about the function. It is just a super entry-level wireless Bluetooth headset that is simply used to hear the sound. But the collection method is very special, as long as you push down the red cover on the back of the phone. You can store the headset inside, and it can be used externally. Very convenient. As for the sound quality, since the author said that it is a series of hearing sound, you should not expect too much, but the author has heard it, and it is not very bad. It is worth mentioning, that the Nokia 5710X Press Audio pair of earbuds can actually be connected to other devices or phones that support Bluetooth connection, but I believe that very few people will do so. In addition, Nokia 5710X Press Audio also has an innovative feature for feature phones, that is, it supports dual SIM dual standby, and supports dual 4G networks, which is indeed a few steps ahead compared to the past. In addition, Nokia 5710X Press Audio also has built-in Facebook app and Opera mini browsers. The former can be used to browse Facebook and even post, and the latter can be used to browse web pages. However, I have tried it if I want to browse videos. Experience everyone basically, as if it doesn't exist. So whether you are browsing the web or Facebook, it is basically just text-only browsing or discussion, so although the 4G network is slow, it is actually quite sufficient. The removable battery has a capacity of 1450mAh, which can bring users 6 hours of use time, or 20 days of standby time under the 4G network. All in all, the 5710X Press Audio launched by Nokia this time is the same as the feature phone of the re-engraved version in the past. Today, you can buy a feature phone that allows you to relive the feeling of using a phone more than 10 or 20 years ago. Therefore, in terms of function and user experience, Nokia 5710X Press Audio naturally cannot give you the convenience of a smartphone. But if you play it as a toy, the price of 80 $7 is not too high for this nostalgic cost. What do you think about this phone? Would you buy yourself one? Write your opinion in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day and see you soon.